2023 has been full of some pretty excellent and innovative tech products, and that includes audio, video, and home theater gear. But I'm here for the weird stuff, the interesting stuff, the stuff that made our eyes widen and our eyebrows do funny things. And throughout 2023, there have been a few good ones, including a fire-breathing $3,900 surround sound setup, a turntable you might want to eat with a side of fries, and a James Bond-worthy TV in a suitcase. I'm Derek Malcolm, and this is some of the weirdest AV gear of 2023. First up is the Nakamichi Dragon 11.4.6 surround sound system. The smoke and fire puns were laid on pretty thick. I've just placed myself here next to the dragon for scale. But you can't fault our TV expert Caleb Dennison for that in his excellent video review because the Nakamichi Dragon surround system pretty much set our studio on fire. Caleb called it, and I quote, the most over the top home theater in a box I've ever seen. And for good reason. The $3,900 system consists of a main soundbar unit that weighs 32 pounds, is made of stainless steel, and features 14 drivers, three tweeters, and seven amplifiers. Then there are two surround speakers, each with five drivers, and two subwoofers, each with two 8-inch woofers in them. The whole thing blasts out a total system power of 3,000 watts at a peak output of 125 decibels. And like smog laying waste to Lake Town, there's a little Hobbit reference there for you, this Dolby Atmos system is just a face-melting home theater in a box. Next up is the Audio-Technica Soundburger Portable Turntable. Back in the mid-80s, when vinyl records ruled, the original Audio-Technica Soundburger was sold as the iPod of its time, a compact, battery-powered record player that you could take anywhere, if you were willing to lug a milk crate full of LPs along with you. Its sandwich-like design and basic features were popular enough that Audio-Technica saw fit to reissue the Soundburger in 2023, striking while the spatula's hot, as it were, to take advantage of vinyl still sizzling nostalgia factor. This time around though, Audio-Technica has given the Soundburger some upgrades, including Bluetooth connectivity and new rechargeable lithium-ion batteries. Sadly, there's still no getting around transporting your heavy vinyl records, but maybe you can hit a drive through for some burger power first. One of the neatest displays to come out this year is the LG Stand By Me Go Portable Briefcase TV. The Stand By Me Go has got espionage written all over it. It's a monitor in a briefcase. You could see Mission Impossible's Ving Rhames hunkered over in the back of a van as he helps Ethan Hunt shimmy through air ducts. Coincidentally, it's also not too far off from the kind of briefcase you'd see housing the golden glowing soul of one Marcellus Wallace. See what I did there? Sadly, you won't find Marcellus' soul inside the 28 pound, $1,200 Stand By Me Go. Instead, there's a 27 inch 1080p LCD touchscreen that can swivel vertically, horizontally, up, down, left, and right. Throw it in the back of the pickup for your next tailgate party or set it up for a big presentation or something. And while it's technically not a TV, as it doesn't have a built-in tuner, its Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity, as well as its WebOS operating system, means you can cast to it from your devices via AirPlay or access streaming sources like Netflix. Plus, you get to look like a badass spy. Next, we have the Apple Vision Pro. We couldn't talk about weird and wild 2023 tech without mentioning this mixed reality headset that Apple unveiled at its Worldwide Developers Conference back in June. And while it isn't strictly an AV device, Apple gave us a lot to talk about with the headset's TV and movie viewing features that promise an immersive experience that can simulate a screen up to 100 feet wide that can exist within a range of cool simulated environments. The micro OLED display inside the headset features 4K resolution and can display 3D content and the headset has support for spatial audio. Aside from the fact that it looks like something out of Ready Player One, the Vision Pro received more than its share of criticism, mainly for its big $3,500 price tag, but also because the VR space has been pretty well trodden, leaving many wondering what makes this any different from, say, a Meta Quest. However, several hands-on reviews from WWDC reported an impressive experience and if Apple can address its many issues before its launch next year, 2024 will be giving us a ton to talk about with the Vision Pro. Okay, this one's probably the weirdest on our list. It's the Dyson Zone noise canceling air purifying headphones. In addition to vacuums, hand dryers, and hair accessories, James Dyson has obviously invented a time machine. That's the only plausible explanation for the Dyson Zone headphones, a device that is clearly from our dystopian future that has some serious Optimus Prime vibes. At a pricey $950, the Dyson Zone features active noise cancellation and sound quality that got pretty good reviews across the board. But it's the magnetically connected air purifying quote unquote visor that's pretty hard to get past visually. When connected, air is pulled in through the ear cups and through two layers of electrostatic filters 
before streaming out to your nose and mouth through the visor. And while the mask doesn't seal up tight like say an N95 mask or filter out viruses, the Dyson Zone can filter gases and odors as well as air pollutants as small as 0.1 microns. Weird, yes, but definitely more than meets the eye. And finally, we have the Macintosh House of Sound. Okay, so it's more of a wild experience than a single piece of AV tech, but the Macintosh House of Sound is a five-story townhouse in New York City that's decked out top to bottom with some of the best and most expensive audio gear in the world. It's really something that has to be seen and heard to be believed. Open to the public in late summer for private guided listening sessions, the swanky apartment features six curated listening rooms the Macintosh Group has outfitted with the amplifiers, speakers, turntables, and other gear of its many brands, including Macintosh, Sonus Faber, Project Audio, and Rotel. Highlights include its main music listening room that features Macintosh's seven foot tall flagship XRT 2.1 speakers and a total output of 8,000 hair blowing watts. On the ground floor is the home theater with its 9.16.4 surround system that includes 16 bass rumbling subwoofers and a giant projector screen. It's a must visit the next time you're in the Big Apple. Did we miss anything? What were your picks for the year? You can let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Who knows, you might see them in the next one. Thanks for watching.